Alright, this video is going to show you how to set up assignments that allow students to be able to dictate, to be able for them to be able to record their voice using a, a simple app that's on every Chromebook and to have students turn in that voice recording. Uh, this is beneficial for many different things. Sometimes our younger students don't have the ability to type out exactly what they want, so we can be able to record the voice and you can listen to it. I have students protect, practice speech, write poetry, create small podcasts, and even practice doing something like recording their voice and turning it in, which is a skill set utilized in access testing. So I create a simple assignment just by using Google Classroom, and I gave some directions here, gave it a topic. All that can be changed in however you like, and I added Twisted Wave Online Audio Editor. However, in my video, my next video that I'm going to show you, I am going to illustrate on how students could go to Twisted Wave off their Chromebooks and record and turn it in here. Okay, so at this point, students can use uh, Google Classroom and go to their assignment for their teacher. The teacher gives them an assignment, lets them know what they need to do. And at this point, students can either click on the direct link to an awesome website called Twisted Wave, or they can use their Chromebooks and use the app that's for us installed, where you would see Twisted Wave there. If it's not right here in your apps list, you can go to all apps and there will, it will be there. Twisted Wave will allow any students to be able to record their voice and dictate in any way, shape, or form. So students do not actually need to have the sign in. They can actually just click on New Document. It will open up the audio editor, um, and it will, you press an, an Allow button if you do see it. It will allow you to record your voice. Students can record their voice for whatever reason, whether it's practicing uh, speaking and listening for, for any sort of tests like that. So say if they're practicing for access and they want to practice their speaking component, they can speak directly to this and record their, their audio and then turn it in later. Uh, they can write they can write any sort of poetry or music and record themselves, and they can even mess with even the audio features that are built in through um, through uh, Twisted Wave. Uh, but there's many different ways that students can record their voice for whatever reason. Maybe they have not the ability to write out a paper, but they could also rec record their thoughts. So there's many different ways. So if I was a student and I wanted to record, I just press the record button. Uh, and at this point, it is recording with voice. I do see the sound waves showing up, and I could see that it is recording whatever I do say. I'm going to stop it. Now, if I want to rewind and listen, I do see the, yep, that's my voice. So at this point, I have recorded my voice. I recorded everything I want to do. I did my audio practice, and I just want to turn it into my teacher. So on every everybody's uh, Chromebook, they could hit download. And if I hit download, uh, first off, I probably want to give it a name. So and it's something I want to know what it's called. Someone's called Hanson Hanson Audio. How about that? All right, so I'm going to give it my name. Hit download. This is saving to my Google Drive on my computer. So as a student, now I could turn in my assignments. So they're going to press open on Google Classroom. This looks like there's an old one's on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add because they're going to add the file they already have. It's in my Google Drive because everybody's students should, when they hit save, go right to their Google Drive. So I'm going to hit Google Drive. And when I find the file, that it automatically saved to. So let's give it a second. We're going to find our most recent file. That's nice, recent. Hanson Audio, hit add. And once it shows up, I just turn it in. And my teacher now could listen to my audio, add any sort of comments they want, make a new assignment, and students could do the exact same thing. And it will, it will help us record and practice uh, speaking, uh, whether for access testing or for any sort of way you want students to turn in audio.